Hello and welcome back, I'm b Joe and this is Transport Fever 2 Console and Deluxe Edition. I spent a little bit of time while you were away and I was here to set up local lines everywhere so we don't have to do that again because I would really like to concentrate on some cargo today. Cargo of things that we haven't yet produced. So that's coming up. Great, something that I think people may care about. Let's look at my lines. How am I doing? I'm obviously making more money than what we need, which is fine. Can't, can't really complain about that, right? Um, but yeah, this is this is what we're looking at. Um, the worst one is losing 150,000. And that's a couple trucks for delivery over here. I think I know exactly what that is. Yes, I'm standing in front of it. Right here, this line. This line is not making money and I'm assuming that has something to do with these guys just parking here. Which honestly is a really good sign. That's a that's a really really good sign because, sure, I have completely overloaded this line. You're supposed to deliver what 180. Um, I, I would guess this is what I would guess. If I would go here, manage vehicles. I don't know where I moved that, and uh, manage vehicles. Wrong one. And say hey, sell this one. I wouldn't be surprised if it's still 180 when I'm done. 163. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I guess I'm just not delivering enough stuff, but that's fine. Um, if that is my worst line, then that is totally fine. There's a little train here, but this tank and steak car is generally making money, so don't have to worry about that guy. Here, I can even look at it. You can look at the finances, and it's like, well, mostly blue, most years. Not every year, but most years. And that's what counts. And the rest is just a couple little local lines that really, if they lose money, that's totally fine. And then a big one, 12 million, is the inner city. The inner city express is doing really well for us and everything else is kind of making money too so this is this is really exciting um but still what i what i said a couple times already we can still lose this game is not done and over with we can still fall into a pretty bad um thing <laughs> we, we, we can still lose our own money and i'm not kidding i'm not kidding all it takes is one train that blocks too much of too many uh things and then we're gone um that's a terrible place to put a house but I'll just I'll just allow that. Cool. Scrumptious. Scrumptious boxcar. Scrumptious. How much how much stuff do you want? You want 179. We have a train that delivers effectively half of that in double the frequency, which I like. So there is a simple solution here. But should we keep the slow train or should we upgrade? What do we have? I really like this one, but this one is a great mountain train. And we have this one and this one. I think today we're going to speed up um, our speed just a little bit. This is not the cargo thing that I was talking about. I actually want to do something very different. Um, I would like another Alco delivery, 80. 80 is what we can currently move on our um, cargo wagons, so that should be totally fine. Let's give me some of the nicer cars. We have a capacity of 96 right now, so we're just going to do the same thing. Replace the vehicle and then see what the line is. The line went is still, well, 135. It's about half of what I need. Um, that's neat. I think what I'm gonna do is just double up and then we should see something reasonable. 269, that's just that's just too high. Maybe this is what we can do. Let's edit them, both of you actually, um, and get rid of a couple things. If I get rid of two wagons each, does that get us close to the one that's 144? We need 179. Okay, 202. 202, that is fine. We only have six wagons on there that I will I will live with. I may have to turn the, um, what do we have going on here? Rate 88, yeah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna cut it. Uh, manage vehicles. Give me, just double that, I guess. Because every time we have something come in here, that will be a problem. So, cool, they can figure it out. But let's actually move on to the actual thing that I would like to build. And there's a lot of just stuff going on over here. And as you can see, passengers are just showing up everywhere in multiple places, especially the smaller ones, which is grand. Uh, looks like someone just got dropped off here. Let's give you another vehicle. Yep, clone all of them. Wonderful. And that's fine. What I would really like to do is deliver some stuff like, I haven't done bricks yet. Bricks are relatively easy or machines. Machines are relatively complicated. Let's see, what is our closest brick fac factory? Ragby, all the way out here <laughs> at the end of the map. We could put some airports down, but I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Then Oldbury, this one, this one is reasonably placed. 
Um, yeah, we can totally do something here. It's not the perfect place to move cargo in and out from, but it's totally fine. We have some a quarry sitting over there, and that's neat. I would like one more quarry somewhere in a reasonable position. And ideally, well, there's one right here. I want to call that re well. Well, there's there's this. There's a path from the Ashlam mm, uh, to Oddbury. It's not very long. And also, there's a brain tree quarry. We could do all of this with trucks, and then just deliver from here. How many? Um, how many quarries do we need? It's a one to one. So one to one, and we get a 400 out of each. So two quarries actually make this one whole. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but what I probably would do, oh yeah, I, I kind of like that. Uh, what I probably will do is move the actual uh, materials when we're done with them to Swanley because Swanley is already placed on the main line. I just have to add a cargo station placement somewhere. And I don't think I hate the location right up front here, even though the, um, when I look at the track, it's not, it's not perfectly aligned with what I want to do here, but I think, I think I can make it work. What do you guys think? Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, is, is that reasonable? We could also put a, another station out here in Oldbury and then run out from there, but we're not on the main line and we're not going to go anywhere. The problem is when we do a cargo line like that, that whew, I don't know if I like my idea anymore. Winsford already needs bricks. Okay, Swanley, how many bricks do you need? Just 44, so that's not going to eat a lot. I would like to deliver at least everything to Halesworth. Oh. Oh, now listen to this. Listen to this. We already have to have a truck going from here to here. I really want to use trains, though. Okay, you really want to use trains. How is the height difference here? I, I don't like my idea anymore. Thank you, Tip. <laughs> I think we're done with tips. Um, let's see. We are at five meters here. We have to get all the way up to. Ooh, there's a there's a faster big train. I like it. Um, and we have to get up to 130 meters here, and we have to get all the way down to three meters here. Yeah, it's not going to work. The other problem is uh, brakes are transported on uh, state cars, and the the stone or whatever this is. What do you call that stone? Is transported on hopper cars. So if I want to move things around, so for example, if I would like to have all the stone delivered to Halesworth, and then Halesworth is transporting the stone to wherever it's needed, which would be uh, Oldbury, and that's fine, um, then um, I need some cargo, some cargo that goes in a hopper to come back. Now there's a steel factory here, that's not bad. We have iron sitting there. Do we have a steel factory out here? We do have a steel factory out here that I could use. Okay, that's that's w option one. Option one is good. I don't see anything else that we have available out here. So I think that is the path that I will go. Yeah, let's move move this stuff down here, just in a quick, quick, quick train ride. The brain tree quarry. I will connect that to the Ashlam quarry, and the Ashlam is going to get the train, and the brain tree may get a train. Are you? You're relatively. If I go through the mountain, this is relatively flat, so I think these can both be be train lines. That's what I'm going to do, and then once we have a train set up, we can deliver to the construction material plant, and this one could be. This one could be a cargo station in and of itself because I would like to have all bricks coming from, no, I don't like that. I don't want all the bricks coming from there. I want them to actually do something useful. Okay, this is gonna get complicated. Why is that? Hey, car. Um, because I need a way to get cargo in and out without blocking my um, my quick train, my fast train, my a city express train. Um, very much. How many people do I have waiting here? 800 scrumptious going the other way. Okay. I'm, I'm considering doubling up uh, the trains that I have here, but looking at this number, I don't think that's worth it. So um, that should be fine. Where should I put the cargo station? I think, <clears throat> I think the right place for it is here. And if you look, the brown, the brown track is what the cargo trains are supposed to run on. And it's supposed to go through here. I think that is fine. Is there... I think... I th Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh, you can't see my camera. Of course not. Um, I think there is an option here to have the um, the high speed train go underneath and the cargo trains go on top. Yes, I like that. Let's get this one disconnected because we no longer need it. Then I think all of this will just become a giant um, <laughs> construction zone. Yeah, let's call it that. Sounds great. And then we're just going to put a cargo station on top of it and hope that I can run the uh, high speed line underneath it. And looking at how much valley we have um, already, I don't think that will actually be a problem. So I'm kind of excited for this solution. Okay, let's see. First things first, can I get a high speed train to run underneath all of this in a tunnel? Yes, I can. The tunnel is right there. Oh, this is making it very easy for me. I, th I think this is totally going to work exactly like I need it to. The tunnels are almost coming out that sa uh, at the same location. That I am not the biggest fan of. I would actually like them to line up a little better. So let's take that one out. Let's take this one out. Um, and then give me the first track. Good. I want second track, please. Just like so. Very good. And then the last track... It's not connecting yet, okay. That's fine, <laughs> that's fine. The last track can connect right here, nope. Um, take that one away, go there. That's the piece that I needed. Now you can take this one out because now the, the train, uh, the tunnel mouth is actually in the same location. Get you there, get you here, and there's now a really ugly kink. No, wait, that's not the right thing. This, there's no kink. It's 300 kilometers per hour and the tunnel is actually it's aligned. Can you see that? It's aligned. Perfect. Let's do the same type of thing on this side. Get the first one out here. Get the second one to give me the tunnel entrance. Gotta remove that. Second one to give me the tunnel entrance. There you go. And give me another tunnel entrance right there. Very nice. Get rid of the piece of track that nobody needs and connect this. Make sure that it's 181. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I don't think so. Let's see if we can make this just a little more convenient. 300, 300, 300, 300. That is what I wanted to see. That looks great. And then you, I think we'll just have to um, push you back a tiny bit further and then we should be able to get a 300 line in here as well. Because this is a dedicated high speed line. We don't want to go below top speed. So that is... Part number one. Now we have this nice open space up here where we can actually put our cargo line on. And looking at it, I may actually want to push you out a little further to here. Sorry about that. Um, let me do the exact same trick one more time. This time just it will be the last time because then we should be good to go. Come on, let me. Yep, there you go. Cool. You can come all the way out here. You all the way out here. Gosh, they are so close to each other that they're effectively touching, but they just don't want to hang out with each other. Okay, can I? They're, they're splitting here. I, I don't want to go that far back, but... Um, yeah, no, this, this, this will be fine. This will do it. This will do the trick, no problem. Connect you there, because we can split them after the tunnel, and they should still be high-speed trains um, then. So that should be fine. This one, this one, this one can just go all the way out here. That means I have to take all of this out. Hey, it's just part of it. Um, we could speed this up, but where's the fun in that? Let's have you all the way out there. There's our tunnel entrance. It's not the, my favorite tunnel entrance. I actually like the, the white one better than the, the brick one, but hey, whatever. Uh, okay, connect there. 300, 300, 300, and 300. You're just splitting out, and now... We have a nice big piece of track to play with for um, our cargo station, which is all we wanted. So now we can have all the cargo tracks go up, up on here. Uh, we obviously need to find something that is suitable for this. Uh, I'm glad I'm paused because I wouldn't even pay an atten uh, be paying attention to um, any, any, any what. Um, any messages that come through that something uh, became available. So this is good. Should I let cargo trains that don't have to stop here go underneath the station? I think the answer to that is sure, why not? That's fine. Um, 320 meters, is this good? Yes. 
Yes, yes, and I'm actually putting it in a way that I can use the iron that we have here because that is the thing that we want to move back and forth, right? Yes, it is. Um, you are not centered enough. <laughs> are you? No. Uh, you are, but if I put you there, then the tunnel is not going to be enough. I should probably do the tunnel later, but honestly, I have a feeling if I do that, um, something else stupid is going to happen, and I don't, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that at all, so... Let's just do this. Hope that this one is now good enough. Um, yes, as I said, the cargo lines that are not going to connect to anything can actually follow the high-speed train. And that's fine. And we can use... We could use a secondary line that's right here, or we have a full-on uh, crossover. Either of those are probably fine, but looking at it well no we'll need a crossover here because some trains may want to be connected and some trains don't i don't know if you pay attention to this but i am making the cargo trains a slower track <laughs> it's not something that i always do but right now i'm actually remembering and i'm doing it the the way that i want to do it so that's perfect that is our starting position now we have to figure out how we're going to lay all of this out and Part of me is thinking maybe the middle one should be a through station, but because we just set up a through track already, that doesn't have to stop here. How about we make the middle one our main station? Like this, make it a little longer, very good. And then the rest can just be our normal uh, track behavior. I, I think I'm happy with that, I hope you are too. So let's make it that long. I was 320 to start with. We added four more. That's 160 meters extra. So 480 meters is our max length for, for the whole thing. I am okay with that. I am very okay with that. All right, let's do the next thing. Okay, that, that angle is gonna be a little, a little ugly, but it's fine. That's a, that's a big mountain. <laughs> I hope we can climb this mountain uh, the way that I intend to do it, um, but you never know. So flatten that out. Yeah, it's gonna, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt. Flatten that out. It's, yeah, that's too high. That's too high for a cargo station. There is part of me that thinks I can put this cargo station a little lower than where it's sitting right now. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> that's, hey, that's what all these game features are for. So replacing it's approximately in the same location that we had before, and then N, no, uh, period, yes, period until it hits a collision. And that's the one that I care about. Is that that's not the lowest yet? I'm holding shift in period now to go um, lower and smaller steps, and eventually it should tell me we are good to go. And sometimes when you hold shift, it won't let you place it. So um, that was a little lucky, but that is much better. That is a lot lower than what it was before, so that is perfect. Let's level out and spend a little bit of money. I can actually r let this run forward because. Um, well, we have everything that we need sitting right here. This is what I don't want. This is what I don't want. If I cannot terraform here, and it looks like I can't, then I'm not in a... Looks like... What are you... Let me terraform then. Huh. That is weird. That is very weird. How, how low are we? Is that track going straight through... I thought it was just crashing. Is that track going straight through? Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> I I do not want this. Um, let's try that again. So that was a little too low. That's fine. That's all right. So if this is the height of where the track is actually sitting, then we just have to do a little better job at getting the building um, in a height that actually makes sense, which seems to be this height, which I... I do not want it to be that high. Let's just use N a couple times. Maybe until here. See what happens there. Um, can we now terraform something? No, we're still just a little bit too high. Just a little bit. Okay, there is there's a there oh, there's a thing we can do here. We could lower the track a little bit. That is totally a solution. The problem with that is can I can I see the it would be nice if I could actually get into this tunnel but I really can't actually I can give me give me a high-speed train drive by where is my first one you're going the wrong way you're going the right way okay you are exactly what I need right now 
Okay, then give me the frontal camera. We'll see how bad it is, shall we? That's what we have train traffic for. So you can actually see how bad the stuff is that you're trying to do. Why are you why are you parked again? Oh, because there are no there are no signals in front of you. Okay. Yeah, I ripped all the signals out, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother putting those in until we actually know that those are the ones that we want to put in. And that's fine. So, station, where are you? And there's a there's a chance, and it looks like this is slightly going uphill. And if that's the case, that is something we can we can work around. But let's see. Um Okay, okay. This is surprisingly good. We did not hit anything along the way. I mean, we, we can all agree with that, right? It didn't hit anything. It's just the the actual thing is not doing what I want it to do. Okay, okay, that's fine. Can I? Yes. That is that is the that is the lowest this this thing will let me go. And yeah, I can't use any other things. How about we just use this? To flatten this whole thing out, and that is the height that we're gonna put the station on, which is it is what it is. Can't can't really change it, right? I um, should have done that in the first place, but um, I obviously didn't. So yeah, this is this is where we go higher. We don't necessarily want to go higher over there. We want to want to stay at a semi-reasonable angle. Okay, let's fix all this. We can smooth that out later and all that stuff. So now my gut feeling is more okay. If I can't, ugh. if I can't do the thing that I wanted all the way out there, maybe pulling the station a little bit to this direction and then having a better angle or a better slope will be useful. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, train again, yes, same thing, same length, same everything, um, and we'll just set up the the middle track somehow. Yeah, no, this is good. This is fine. Do, do we really need this? Well, we only need it because I want a, um, a f four yard? No, a track, track front, no, station front, no. Uh, rangier, rangiergleisen, no. I just want an area before the train station that is flat enough where I can put a lot of, uh, all the crossover track that we may or may not need for the thing. And obviously it's not gonna happen on this side, gosh. I am, I am better on that direction. I am worse on this direction. The, the sad thing is, if you play vanilla, the game will not allow you to extend the stations out in all directions, only in some directions. So, let's see. This feels like the middle. That's This is the last time I'm going to do this. This is the last time I'm going to do this, I think. <laughs> I would like to promise you, but that's, that's not how this game works. Every once in a while, I just have to say, well, I made a stupid decision. And now we're gonna go back and do something a little better than we did last time, and so on. But I, I'm very confident that if this is still wrong, um, that I will just have to deal with it. <laughs> you, you can get bad crossover track too, and that will totally still work. It's just gonna be a little uglier. And this station is designed to stop. Everyone is supposed to stop that has to go to the station. So there's no good reason to say, um, well, I don't want everyone to stop here. So, let's see. I want you to go relatively straight, but I do need you to go flat. Cool. Um, you also go flat there, and then you, I actually want you to curve this way slightly. That, that looks nice. I'm not ready for a bridge. So, what do I really want here? Um, what we need from these guys is a couple things. The first thing is we have extra stations out here and it will be nice, sorry, platforms. Someone complained about that. I mean, they're labels um, and labels should probably be used properly. Otherwise, why use labels at all? So let's call these what they are. They are platform. They're platforms. They are not stations. And let's see what we can do out of this. There we go. That's what I wanted. So as you can see, we have a nice uh, crossover happening for all, all the tracks on this side. And there's a double slip, there's a double slip. Well, they're not set yet, but I can set double slips over there. That is good. Now, what I like to do is get another big crossover like that for this. That looks excellent. Get you in there. I really would be nice if I can turn off the underground mode uh, when we see this, but obviously I cannot. So we'll just have to deal with this. But with this, Everything is connected appropriately. 
Okay, appropriately. It's not perfect, but it's appropriately, and there's even some room to put some uh, signals in here if we if we desire such. So that is great. I don't have a lot of room to take the train uh, the <clears throat> the the rail back, so we're not going to try to do that now. How does this look? Um, besides a bridge over here, it's a little gaudy. Let's do that. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, cargo trains now obviously don't like slopes like this, but um, luckily this is a game and nobody really cares about that. I am kidding, of course. <laughs> a lot of people care about that. Um, we can make the slope a little more direct or indirect. Those are the options that we have. Okay. I don't, I, I will say I don't hate this. I don't, I don't hate this. Whatever bridge do we have? We could run that bridge up here. Doesn't feel inappropriate if the other side takes the same bridge. If the other side takes the exact same bridge. And I have a feeling that we're not go Gosh, that thing's just not let me connect the thing the way that I want to. I have a feeling that we're not gonna use both tracks because we just don't have the room for that. Get me the same bridge? Yes. Okay. I think we have a winner. I. I just don't hate this enough to um, get rid of it. it. It would be nice if it's not as steep or if I can do underground stations, which is totally a thing, um, but not in this game. So let's just assume this is what it is. Let's take these back a notch and we can either, either pretend that this is always supposed to be this way or get out these guys, that's fine. Then give me, uh, that, that tunnel underneath is really causing issues. Get me to this connection and then just swoop sl uh, slightly right up until the bridge, like that. And as you can see, the speed is great. And this, this is a pretty, very pretty diamond. I am very happy with that. Now, obviously these guys have the same problem, but you didn't wanna, uh, I don't want to um, get rid of them until we don't get into danger of removing those points which these are good now there is a 42 point which is not ideal but that's fine so now you i think actually want to connect to this and we can give you a nice and long uh, piece of connection 120 120 that's great and just give you another double slip right here because that was pretty much what it was i didn't have to remove that piece actually um, but i wasn't thinking about that at first so this side is very usable i like it thank you very much other side, let's do something a little more symmetrical instead of asymmetric. So let's see what we can do here. I need to get down. 120, 120 is fine. We're probably not gonna use either or, or both of the uh, both of the tracks here, just like we did on the other side. But if for some reason, for some luck, we can actually use them, they're available. So. That's good. You just have to come out far enough, which is probably approximately here. I do like to come out and check where the angle becomes reasonable because that is usually the angle where we sometimes are able to start doing the right thing. So you can see I'm just clipping right here. There's a small trick that we can use here, which should be, should be appropriate. We can remove that piece of track there because that's part of the station track. That's not part of our normal track. Um, replace it by a million small pieces. They're only going to be a million small pieces when you um, are... Are we, are we running forward? We're not running. I don't want to run at triple speed though. Um, they're only going to replace a couple small pieces, but this is what I wanted. Now we have this double slip right here because this is our piece of track and it's not a station piece of track and so you can actually do a crossover there, which is wonderful. It looks like approximately there. Diamond, cool. Easily iron or mine. Nobody cares about you. Now, tell me if you think that if this is a pretty approach to a station or if this is a hideous approach to a station. All your all, all your opinions are valuable and matter. So I definitely want to hear. I just don't know um, how else would you do it. So let's get this one down there. Let's get this one down here. Okay, that side of the station is not even connected yet. So that's a that's another problem I have to solve, but let's see here. Yes, I don't I don't like this extra piece because it's really just 
a silly piece of track that we don't need. I, I, I don't hate that there's a tunnel here and that there's no tunnel here. I think we could probably force a tunnel on this side because there's a lot of extra. Um, but that's that's not what we're about. So let's do the same thing we just did. Nice and long to 120, thank you. Nice and long to 120, thank you. Uh, we don't need double slips there. And this one, um, as we already found out, we don't need 91 or 114. We're gonna do the 114. Uh, this one, we don't actually have to remove the thing that I removed earlier, so we're not gonna do that. Obviously, these are not perfectly symmetrical. I don't care. I, I don't need them to be symmetrical. I just need them to be fast enough and reasonable enough to actually exist. And I think they all do. So, so far so good. I have to connect this to something. We have a very large bridge and then this thing that connects to something. Ooh, ooh, I forgot something. Very, very, very important. Oh boy. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Sorry. I have to I have to take back a couple things. There's a cargo. The, the, the cargo line is running here. I'll, I'll show you what I'm what's in my head. There clearly is a cargo line running here. But the cargo, all of the cargo goes through the station on the right of this high-speed track. So I could try to bulldoze most of the town and get my cargo lines through there, or I could do something more reasonable and run the cargo lines on the outside and either go well. Honestly, I don't mind going through the town here <laughs> or like on the on the outside of the station or something like that. Um, just the way the place where it is right now won't work um, or won't work easily. And I need a, a, a good crossover. And I think I just found a great place for a crossover. That also means that my initial idea of having uh, the cargo line go underneath the station is not going to work anymore. Um, because there's no room for the cargo line to go um, over unless I have the cargo line go really, really low. So, yeah, we're just going to take away a little bit of this stuff. This this was not planned this way, but I kind of like exactly how it's playing out. Now we're gonna we're gonna destroy this nice little diamond here unless unless I allow um, well allow now a weird curve coming back over here and then connecting there but I, I think that's even worse than what I'm about to do so this is what we're doing this line is gonna stay everything else has to go to the right so let's see how that's gonna go we will still need a bunch of crossovers and uh, weird places but we're gonna get to that later so this is on the right this is on the left I effectively want this this has to be my lead track I guess so let's take all of this back and see what we can come up with. I, I think I removed a piece of track in the in the tunnel there. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> um, there we go. No, you have to be a high speed train. There? Nope. There? Yep. <laughs> okay. Always fiddle with your angles until the angles do what you need them to do. Okay. That's fine. That can be my main track and I want you, actually, you can probably go here. Um, brown track, thank you. I want you to be my high-speed track down here. And honestly, I want you to be this high-speed track because this, um, this cargo line, the way it exists here is not gonna exist anymore. It's gonna be annoying to remove that track out of the tunnel, but needs must, so, oh well. So it connects here, and now I need my nice piece of track, and you will become my right-hand track, or left-hand track, like my main track that goes in here. That looks fine. Obviously, we could have, I think the bridge is coming down just a smidge, but I don't I don't feel like this is, this is unreasonable. No, this is totally fine. And no, I, I like it, I like that a lot. And now you will just find a good connection point Still, I'm just messing with the camera so I can get this angle better. You just need a good connection point to get down, uh, down to the bridge, like so, and then you go across the bridge like everyone else. Cool. Did this piece do what it was supposed to do? Yes, it did. There, there's a little piece that it's not connected, and this is supposed to help, and it did. So, that is excellent. I like this a lot. Okay, now all we need to do is do exactly what we did earlier, just again. Um, and this is where they come together. Let's see if I can get a good 
um, offset diamond. Is there a name for this if the diamond comes together like this? Would like to know. So sometimes you're not going to get a pretty diamond. It's, it's just sometimes not going to happen because of the angles that you have. But you can mess with this until you get a pretty angle. Sorry, press the wrong button first. You can mess with this until you get an angle that you like, which I like that I have 120s here everywhere. Then you build that and you just take it back and connect the pieces that you want. So you have a tiny bit of a swan neck at the end, but a very functional piece of track. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, this was the problem because it wasn't completely perfectly aligned. But um, as you can see, you can still make it work. Now, will I need extra um, sidings here? to make this work. I think my best answer is I hope I don't. Um, and that's simply because there are a lot of stations here and I think every train that will go through here will have the ability to pick any platform they want. I really don't like that the tunnel is down there, but it is what it is now. Um, we are running on slow speed. What's this one, 120? Sure. That one can connect right there. What is your problem? Is there a train? No, Thor uh, Thorn uh, Thor Thornley um, and Thornbury are doing doing a thing. Uh, you come out here, and then that's fine. I am trying to keep these this, these sidings really long, so they are semi nice. But hey, you can't you can't win all the time. But I am very happy with what this did because this is now a very obvious. Hey, this is your cargo mainline. Figure it out. Uh, the only thing, the only challenge, the only part that that may have added is, at some point, I may want to turn this into the main, to, into a through station, um, where trains can actually go in and do their thing. Especially, oh, I have to. Uh, uh, this is painful. I have to do that right now. Yep. Yeah. I need to put the middle station that has to be through track for two stations, and then everything else. Um, it's just offset a little bit. Now we could just leave three stations on the outside and have two through stations in the middle, but I don't know that there's enough cargo going through here. I, I caramba, could offset it all where we have, this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, one more trick, and then I'll, I'll, I'll redo the station in just a second so you don't have to watch me do the same thing over and over again. And unless, unless of course, I really feel like you totally should watch me. Um, so we could set it up this way, where um, we have obviously one, two, three outside stations. This middle piece is going to be the one that's removed. Let's do this just for illustration purposes. Um, even do, do I do this? <sighs> Honestly, I may want to. And then if I put a platform here, and then I put... Um, two tracks here that I never want to use. Come on, game. Are you really? You're saying that this is the... Uh, okay. I think the game is telling me that it doesn't like my idea. <laughs> yeah, I can put that there, there, and then that's the end of the, of the whole shebang. Okay, uh, I can play this game. Um, if you don't want me to expand that direction, but you would want to let me expand the other direction, this is what we can do as well. This is, I guess, what the setup was before. Uh, this is what the set oh, oh, okay, okay. I, ca I can just align them to the other side, and that's fine. So if I put you there, let's make sure before I do something here that the station can expand far enough out where, where I actually need it. So give me one, two, three, four, five, six. Thanks, all the safe. Don't need you right now. Uh, six, seven, eight, eight. That's as far as I can go out. That's fine. That probably just means that. Okay. Um, no, configure. That means that I want to remove this one and this one, then have two, then this one and this one, and then have. Um, two so this one definitely goes away yeah i just i just have to find the right cadence here and then uh we can we can make all of this very nice and i'll, I'll just do the track track again because i forgot about this uh yeah you go there you go hey stop fighting me on this thank you so configure again platform yes there is one there 
one there, one there, and then double track. I, I think you see what I'm getting at, and I don't think it's a it's the end of the world if this whole setup shifts to the left just a little bit, like towards the river. I think that's totally still in the realm of possibility. But there you go. Um, that one, and then two more tracks, and then we're effectively at the end of the station width. So this is the max station width that I can get out of this thing. Um, this one can't be used, cannot be used. Um, so I may as well just put a platform out there because I may want to get a connection here. And it will save me just a little bit of headache. Okay, this is my new station. Okay, um, I should verify that I get, oh, hold on. Hold on, <laughs> we're not quite done yet. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve platforms. Uh, sorry, yes, twelve tracks, which is twelve platforms. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is also the middle. If we treat this as the real middle, okay. Um, maybe I'm getting somewhere here. Maybe I'm not. Can I, I can't. I don't think I can do this, can I? If I take you out um, and give you another track there, I cannot. I cannot put something on the outside, and I can't put something on the outside like that anyways. Okay. I may just leave it like this so it's more asymmetri uh, symmetrical. Not asymmetrical. It's the opposite of what I want. And then here we are. Something that probably has to happen. One, two, three, four, five. These two tracks just has to be have to be through tracks for the whole thing, and we can enforce that by not by deleting everything, but by deleting the middle tracks. So I can't even make platforms there, but they will be my main through station. So yeah, that, that that's what we're gonna do, and that's gonna be perfectly fine and totally gonna be working and all that stuff. But um, let, let me do a little bit of deleting, and then we can uh, get back on with the thing. So here I'm standing and somehow I managed to break all slip switches. <laughs> I, I am pretty sure that these should allow uh, double slip switches where they are right now, but for some reason they're just like, no, don't want to. I'm just like, mm, but I, I, I need you to. I'm like, no, no, I don't want to. So I guess this may just require a quick reload because it should there's not a good reason why this doesn't work, okay? It's it's really the, the main takeaway here. Hey, you should just go feed right into this if you don't want to. Okay, let's do the other side. Um, maybe I am past the flat bit. That's very possible. I, I did take that chance and took the fourth uh, track out that was down there, but... Uh, yes, so there it's, it's going down a little bit. Let's go out here. Okay, that's fine. And from there to... No, 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 no. Doesn't, doesn't like any of these. Okay. Uh, can I, can I convince you otherwise? <laughs> I, I would like this to be a clean junction at least, if, if nothing else, but... Hey, oh, there, there's a, there's an angle that I will work with. So we can get you out, that is nice, aligned in the center there, and we can just pull you all the way out here, and then you will be will be just fine. That is fast enough. 
this one. I actually want you to connect to here to keep that nice and flat. And yeah, as you can see, this is just rinse and repeat now. Um, nothing wrong with that, nothing right with that. It's just easy enough. Everyone can get connected to everything. I duh. just I just need you to do the thing. I mean, seriously, can you just, there you go. Not hard, it's not hard. It's always, it's always the same thing. You go in and then you go out, then you go in, then you go out, then you go in and then you go out. It's not the end of the world, trust me. So you go there, you go here to about normal. And then we have some double sub switches here, which makes me nervous. What did I do on the other side that it won't even allow me to place double sub switches? Because there's nothing inherently crazy going on here. It's just like, no, vehicle emission, emissions are high. That's fine. So yeah, it, it's doing something that I am not a big fan of. So I think that just means we have to try this again and hope that this time I can get my, uh, my slip switches. Because without the slip switches, this this whole thing is just not going to work. Do I... Nope, this is all fine. So, okay, start you from there. Go out here. Cool. And then start you from here. Go out here. So far, so good. Slip? No. Nope. Why can I not get a double slip switch in there? <laughs> I promise. I never had this specifically happen. That is... That is crazy. Okay. Well, if that is the case, if the game really just doesn't want me to do the easy way then uh, on this side for some reason, then I, I know how to how to go play play hardball, but I just I wish you would just let me. <laughs> it's, it's not a big problem, but I wish you would just let me because now what I have to do is take shorter connecting pieces here and yeah, I can't get that one in. Take uh, shorter connecting pieces there and just build these um, secondary options to slip switches which is it's not the end of the world i actually think these are a lot prettier but um they're not i don't know they're, they're, they're not really necessary I would, I would much rather do the other thing but whatever this this is gonna work everyone's gonna connect to everything and life is pretty good now you do see this, this is pretty i i really like this setup <laughs> That's great. Uh, we haven't even gotten any trains yet or any of that stuff, but yeah, this is this is totally working. And yeah, just just ignore the um, the the missing of any catenary posts because who needs them? They're just there for for clever people. They're not. I don't. I don't need them. Okay, there are those. There are a couple buildings sitting there. That is fine. You should still be more than in range of this guy. I think everything is actually connected, which is nice. Very nice to see. I haven't lost all my money yet, which is also very nice to see. Let's give you a couple signals here and there. Um, remove a little bit more of this because we really don't need it. Yeah, I haven't set up any lines. <laughs> no, nothing at all. And I'm, I'm not even connected to anything. Um, so that is super. Um, <clears throat> trying to think. We can't, we can't split out the, the bridge. We, we don't have to go all the way to the end with the bridge. We can uh, separate the bridge a little early, but we still have to connect to something. Now, this station, very obviously, does not have a through station. I mean, that's not a surprise to anyone. How are you doing? You want 148, or you, you're moving 148, and you want um, 200. Okay, um, can you do a little more? Manage vehicles, give me like uh, one, two, three, four. There you go, that's good enough. Yeah, so we need to get through here somehow. There is... Yeah, we, we don't have that much traffic going on here. I think something I can just do is take the trains that I currently have going to the terminals and um, the Bricks Oil Supply, you specifically, um, tell you that Bricksum, is it Bricksum East? This is Bricksum. At Bricksum East, I don't want you to go out to the different place anymore. I just want you to go to eight, and that's really it. So don't go, well, I have four set up too. I just want you to go to eight, okay? Go to eight, and then don't go to four, and don't go to six. You can also go... No, you can't go to any of the other ones. You can go to seven, okay. 
and one and two. So you could go to two. Yep, that's fine. You can take the outside tracks. I just don't want you to take the inside tracks. Let's do the same thing with Bricks Boxcars. Manage line. Yep. Um, Bricks M, I want you to go to... What is one? One is out here, isn't it? I think one is out there. Yeah, one is out there. So you can go to one and seven. You can't go to the middle ones anymore. No five and no three. There you go. So now the middle tracks are actually through tracks, even though this signal is going the, the opposite way of what I would expect you to go. Let's just switch you around. I think I could have done that without taking it out, but that's fine. So yeah, now this is actual through track, which is wonderful. Let's take you out. Ooh, BRE 94. That's nice, goes 90. That, that may not be, a, not be a bad option for what we're gonna have going on over here. Bunch of new trucks, that's neat. Okay, let's do a quick as the crow flies, as we all like to say. Let's zoom out a little bit. Um, how about you go here? To go there, this is all kind of in the way. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that, that's, that's fair. And I don't actually wanna kill the whole town, I just wanna kill part of the town. Let's go flat here, and then uh, make this turn. Five buildings are removed and there's a collision. That end piece, yeah, don't care about that. The city itself, yeah, that's fine. I, I give you a little bit of pollution, you'll be fine. Uh, okay, collision, collision, collision. Where's the collision? The collision, ooh, we can tunnel here, yes. Uh, make you go away and we're gonna try to tunnel here. <laughs> I love it. That, that would actually be really pretty. So let's get that connection, good. And hit N once. I am shocked at how good that piece looks. This one has to look a little better. Um, there, there's no question about that, but having the tunnel where it is, um, that's just, I couldn't have, couldn't have made that up any better. So I want you to go here. I don't think that you're actually going up. What are you doing here? You, you're not going down either. You're not going up. You're not doing this. Oh gosh. What, what are you doing? Um, something like this, but not really. Like, you see that? That is that is nowhere near the right angle. Okay, okay. Let's see if we, <laughs> we can manage this, because I don't need this to look completely hideous. Uh, okay, you can come in there. We're going slightly up, but that's not the right up yet. So, um, shift and couple down that looks like the right angle that looks like the angle that we actually want okay let's just assume that is the angle which is slightly up which is not good because the, the track that we have coming is definitely not going slightly up <laughs> it's, it's going slightly down um right there and are we okay with that i i don't think i hate it i don't think i hate it what we can do for sure is move the tunnel back just a little bit and that should give us a little more wiggle room for where where this connection is going to be yeah there, there's another house that got, that's going to get destroyed but uh we don't care about that we we have the money and that's not that's not really an issue for us um it's the wrong side of the track okay that's that's unfortunate <laughs> i thought i was doing it the right way but then i'm doing it the wrong way anyways um wouldn't be the first time obviously uh have you come in here Ooh, ooh, do I want cargo trains to have a different bridge than, um, than the big trains? I don't hate that. Um, let's see, how does that look? How does that connect here? That looks a little awful because that bridge is just a little wider by default. So, um, if we do those bridges, then the bridge is still a little wider by default. So, that's not going to help him. That's not going to uh, help. That's what I meant to say. But this may actually work. So if we have you, you're still trying to connect to that thing somehow. I, I don't want that. I do not want that. Can you? Okay, let's, let's take you back a little more. I, I wouldn't mind having a really short tunnel because I want just a quick peekaboo to say, Hey, there's a thing. Uh, you should look at it. Um, oh, oh, that's working. Oh yeah, that's working just fine. The bridge is a little tall there, but this part right here is actually, is it working? 
It is tight, but it is working. Yes, I like it. That That's totally gonna work that way. Um, get me that connection here, and then just get that taken all the way up to that connection. And now we are officially connected to, with cargo to the station for whatever we wanna do. Obviously, there's no cargo coming in yet because none of that stuff is set up and it's not going to be set up for a little while. And honestly, I probably now have to go and upgrade a lot of stuff to be electrified. That's going to be fun. Do we even have cargo lines running the other direction? Let's see here. There's some some cargo going out here and yeah, cargo's just stopping here. <laughs> great. Oh, great. Oh, oh, lordy. Um, well, at, at least cargo here can just go parallel into wherever it needs to go. And I want it to go to Halesworth. Pro well, not a problem. Halesworth does not have a cargo station, clearly. Um, but here I could probably put... Ooh, this, there, there, I, I can have a lot of wood come in. Oh, I could have machines made here. That's great. Um, because, yeah, I'm going to bring stuff to steel. And this could be our machines hub. That's perfect. So I have another little hub here. Oh, haha, <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, there is there's a little there's a little natural bridge right there. I can curve the cargo line out and have it come in right here. That is that's actually really, really good. I will forget about that. 100%. Um, not even that's not even a question. So what I'm gonna do is get this one. We don't need as many as many connections as we had before. Turn you around. Um, sure, right here. I'm trying to get to the angle that we are right there. Um, and then give me a little bit of track. I, I, I will forget this. That's the only reason why I'm doing this. And first, have track come up here. Yeah. Make it straight. Then make it come around. Too much slope. No, 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 no. I, the reason we're building this is so that there isn't too much slope. Thank you very much. I don't really need you to go up. I just want you to go flat. There you go. That That's actually relatively straight. I'm, I'm, I'm a little impressed by my execution of that maneuver right there. 120, 103, 100. There is a limit here, and the limit is almost reached, but I think what we can do is take this back a little bit. And then see if we can get a little smoothed out. Too much slope again. Okay, that's fine. 117, 114. Um, this is the out track anyway, so that, that should totally be fine. So that side is done. Let's get me another little bit of connection in here. Again, I like a little bit of straight track right in front of the station. And then we can just do that thing. And this one is really a no-brainer. Although this should totally be a tunnel <laughs> i just want it to be a tunnel so let's make it a tunnel let's make you high enough to go up here yeah there's gonna be a tunnel now very cool very cool very nice very neat um there's a track there's the tunnel mm. there's a tunnel but then i'm doing a little bit of landscaping in there don't want to do that yet how about now It is literally a millimeter. Let's see, a shift four, shift M clicks does this right away. Oh yeah, look at that natural tunnel. <laughs> uh, four M clicks is doing that, and that's, I guess that's all I'm gonna get here. Let's line this, uh, let's, let, let's prettify this a little bit. Let's naturalize this part. We could put a lot of trees on top of that if we wanted to. Um, it's called a tree gun for a reason, and Yes, I think this will be fine. Connecting that cargo is not going to be hard. And then now all I have to do is remember, I want to bring all of the rocks, as long as they're here, to um, Halesworth or to this one. And then from Halesworth, I want to bring all of the rocks to Swanley. And from Swanley, I want to bring all of the rocks to Oldbury Construction Material Plant, even though the rocks are effectively right behind Oldbury. And then from Oldbury, or from Swanley, I want to transport all the iron ore um, stuff to um, to Halesworth again, Halesworth Cargo. Uh, because the iron ore stuff can then be transported to the steel mill. The steel mill needs some extra coal, which we already have here. And we could have a train going behind here, just starting to deliver just coal and iron. That's not a bad place to go. 
We have a little extra iron out there, which is also good. And now we have steel. Steel can come into the machines factory and we already have wood right here. So there can be a nice little truck hub. And then we can take all the machinery parts to this cargo station. This is as big as it is. And I know I haven't said that yet. This is as big as it is because it is supposed to be my hub in this region to hopefully transport all the materials that we care about. Not just a couple, all of them. And yes, we're, we're just going to exploit the... You don't have to... Ooh, can I build a road underneath and between there? I think I can. Um, yeah, I don't... Let's see, give me this one. Give me this one. I I am definitely playing playing the game a little bit or gaming the game a little bit because I'm not taking the direct routes, but I'll be I hope you can forgive me because that means we can have longer trains later on and that's that's what this is about. Didn't realize that I could even do that. That's that's a lot of height difference, but that is fine. Cool. Um so yeah, that works. Let's, let's get the the speed devil up here a little bit there's still a connection that i have to make to to those cities up here but who cares so now once we get um construction materials in <laughs> um i cannot deliver directly to swanley sadly and swanley is going to explode on the on the brick brick demand really no i i can probably deliver to swanley and thornbury right from the swanley north winsford could get an extra actual tr um train that does something but then that one again has to cross the the main line which is not very helpful so that winsford may as well get a truck too yeah the the three guys up here can just get truck deliveries and uh, then i get one going out to halesworth and uh, ashlam and i guess these two up here also need the same material so hey i got a cargo line set up or at least a cargo station all i have to do now is actually get some um well, get some trains going, but we're not going to do that today. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Let me know what you think about the station and the approaches. And next time we are, we will keep working on this thing and actually make it work. I'm not worried about the money. It will make a ton of money because it's going to be full both ways. But there's still more stuff to do. And, uh, well, distribution, delivery, all the other things. So more, more, more. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.